GST is one of the boldest reforms brought in by this government since independence. Uh, this reform is going to impact millions of MSMEs and like any large reform that brings in, there are challenges involved. These challenges will be borne by all the corporates and will be borne by the government itself. And therefore, we realize that as one of the largest consulting firms in the world, which is KPMG, we should do something uh, to solve this problem. And we joined hands with Hewlett Packard, which is one of the largest hardware firms in the world, to come out with a solution to alleviate the issues that will be faced by MSMEs when the GST is being rolled out. What are the problems that will be faced when GST is rolled out? What are the challenges that are going to be faced when GST is being rolled out? GST inherently is synonymous with information technology. Unless we bring in the invoices and file them in an electronic form and then subsequently file them with GSTN, it will be extremely challenging to be able to manage GSTN. As we all know, MSMEs are, are deficient in terms of the minimal information technology that's needed to be able to uh, adopt GST in the manner that we just spoke about. And therefore, we decided to bring all these complexities of GST in one single box and help solve the issues of MSMEs. So what did we do? We brought in a laptop, connectivity, e-sign, provisioning in the cloud, connectivity to GSP, to GSTN, and thereafter, hand-holding of the MSMEs to file their returns with the government, with GSTN, and handhold them in managing their entire GST process, providing them the support that is needed for hardware, providing them the support that is needed for filing in the invoices that we just spoke about. However, the issue is not just with the 6.5 million MSMEs who are, who are registered with GSTN. The issue goes beyond MSMEs to even the large corporations. The large corporations need to ensure that their entire ecosystem is also GST enabled without which they will not be able to do the reconciliation required and they will end up having a non-compliant scenario or they would need to have an army of people managing the reconciliations at the end of the month. So we have brought in features which helps large companies ensure that they have a very smooth filing and that their entire ecosystem is GST compliant and it's compliant at an extremely affordable cost. We have made sure that the MSMEs don't need to pay an upfront large cost for adopting this entire solution we're talking about, but they only need to pay a monthly small amount to make sure that they have the minimal IT infrastructure needed to be able to file these invoices. Moving forward, what we look forward to is that uh, the entire ecosystem adopting a solution which is similar to this so that the purchase invoices end up becoming uh, a replica of the sales invoice that's being provided by the selling vendor. And therefore, there is no discrepancy between the purchase register and the sales invoice on a transaction basis. And that ensures that at the end of the month, you do not have reconciliation issues. It also takes care of issues such as how do we manage those vendors which are registered under the composition scheme or how do we manage advances? How do we manage debit card, debit notes and credit notes? As we move forward, we would walk you through what the solution does and the details of the solution. And we hope that will play a significant role in helping you, the government, and the millions of MSMEs in this country be completely GST compliant in the minimal uh, affordable cost possible. Thank you. Ever since uh, GST was announced, HP has been talking to a lot of traders and the biggest thing that we found out is that people are not only bothered about how they will comply to GST, but more importantly, you know, how will they put together everything that is required to comply to GST norms. Uh, for example, traders will need some hardware to actually start invoicing and uh, you know, filing their returns. They will need a piece of software. They will need some sort of connectivity to the, to the GSTN network. They will definitely need cloud to actually put all their invoices in a secure place. They will also need help along the way. They will need to understand uh, right from how to apply for GST network, how to actually get access to the GSTN server, uh, which HSN codes to select, for example, how to do invoicing, how to set up a new vendor, how to set up a new customer. All these things are actually bothering them. So people were looking for somebody who can put everything together. So all seven, eight, nine elements, uh, you know, coming together beautifully from HP as well as KPMG. 
uh, as well as a dedicated help desk who not only understands in case there's a hardware failure but can actually explain to them about everything related to their tax queries everything about the GSTN network itself everything about their access to the network and, and their daily queries so I think that is the biggest differentiator as uh, you know HP and KPMG that we bring to the solution that's the single biggest differentiator we're trying to provide we are not only giving you like I said one dedicated helpline but we're also giving you chat email and telephone support we also have a provision for experts to call you back in case your query doesn't get solved the first time around so I think we've got it we've got it all covered uh, I would also say that uh, you know it is one of the easiest solutions out there in the market to acquire from a financial burden on your pocket point of view uh, we have tie-ups with all leading banks and credit cards you can go from a three-month payment to almost up to 24 month payments uh, there are these flexible options available because your core business is to figure out how to do your business better your business is not to figure out how to get capital to be able to comply to GST system so we've done that for you all you have to pay us is a minimum amount per month and uh, HP takes care of the rest the government of India is about to implement goods and services tax a new taxation system in India the GST solution has been developed to use the GSTN network provided by the government to simplify the creation of GSTR1, GSTR2 and GSTR3. The application performs the reconciliation between the sales and purchase invoices of different taxpayers. To get started, simply log in to your account by entering username and password and then select your language as English or Hindi and click on the login icon. My GST is divided mainly into the given sections, each handling the function as mentioned. Sale invoice to create sale invoice. View sale invoice to view, edit or delete sale invoices. Purchase invoice to create purchase invoice. View purchase invoice to view or edit or delete purchase invoice. GST returns to upload and download GSTR forms. Reconciliation to view and reconcile data from counterparty GSTR forms. ITC Ledger to view ledger details. Sync to sync data with cloud. My Profile to view or edit the My GST account details. Notification to view all the updates of the software. Logout to log out from the account. So, after you log in to your account, the software will open Sale Invoice page by default. By default, B2B is selected and there is another option B2C. A unique invoice number is also generated below the same and the date is auto-populated. Then we have to enter the receiver details and the system fetches up previously used details as frequently used data if it matches with the entry or else we have to manually enter the receiver details. Then we have to check whether the consignee is same as receiver. If it is same as receiver, it will be auto-populated. Otherwise, we have to enter the consignee details manually. User can also search and select items from the most recently used products. Next step is invoicing, where user can enter all the items in the invoice details section. Autofill function is also implemented here for user's ease. Details are mentioned below. Name of the supply, goods and services, the types of goods, HSN or SSC, quantity, unit, rate, discount percentage, abatement, total, the various GST applicable percentage as per the HSN which is 5, 12, 18 and 28, then IGST will be auto-calculated based on the GST percentage. IGST in rupees will also be calculated and finally the total price will also be auto-calculated. If there are more than one product, we can use the 
add more option and enter the details of the item as were shown for the previous product. On the below right hand side of the page, you can enter other details which will help in locating the invoice. We can enter the sale invoice subject and additional information which will help us in identifying the invoice on the later date. Below we have three options. Cancel. Click on Cancel to cancel the form. Submit. Click on Submit to submit the form. And Back. Click on Back to go back to the previous page. Then we come to the next section which is View Sale Invoice. Here you can see all the invoices which have been entered into the system. We can find the invoice by entering the invoice number, receiver name, GSTIN of the receiver, date, state of the receiver or any other matching criteria to search the respected invoice. We can also view the invoice by selecting the View button which will give the invoice in a non-editable format. We can use the Edit icon to edit any invoice. We can also use Bulk Download and upload any invoice from the search screen. The next page is Purchase Invoice. Enter the supplier details here. After entering the supplier details, system fetches up previously used details if it matches with the entry. User can search and select most recently used products from the most recently used products column which is similar to the sales invoice page. Here also the user can fill up the invoice number, GSTIN of the supplier and click on the download icon. In case if the counterparty has already uploaded the sales invoice and synced with the servers, then buyer can automatically download these details and save himself from entering all the data again manually. User can enter all items in the invoice details section. Auto functionality is also implemented here for user's ease. After filling all the details in the invoice details section, the user can add more items by clicking on the Add More icon on the page. Similar to the sales invoice, again, user can also fill up the other details which will help in identifying the purchase invoice. Here also, user has three options to cancel or submit the form or go to the previous page by clicking on the back icon. The next tab is View Purchase Invoice. Here, we can see the entire purchase invoice which has been entered into the system and user can enter the invoice number, supplier name, GSTIN of supplier, state of supplier, date or keyword to search the respected invoice. Below the Actions option, user can click on the View button to select the invoice. System shows the selected invoice details. User can edit any invoice by clicking on the Edit button. User can delete or bulk download or upload any invoice from the search screen. Now we move to the next page, which is GST Returns. Here user can upload, download and view summary of GST returns such as GSTR1, GSTR2 and GSTR3. By clicking on any of the options, system will prompt for an OTP which will be sent to the registered mobile number. After providing the current OTP, system will upload the GS data to the GSTR network. User can select month and year and click on download GSTR to download the respected GSTR of that period. User can upload GSTR2 by clicking on the GSTR2 button. Again, the system will prompt for an OTP. When it gets connected to the GSTR network, the user can click on the Upload GSTR2 to upload the respected GSTR. Similarly, user can file return for GSTR3 on monthly basis. The following button of GSTR3 will only be activated on 20th of any month.
GSTR 4 is used by compositor taxpayers who file return on a quarterly basis. Next, we move to the Reconciliation tab. In this tab, by clicking on the View Reconciled Data under Outward Invoice Sale Reconciliation, the system will show what are the errors which are coming up from the sales invoice. Here the system is showing automatically the error that the counterparty has not filled the details and the invoice 8 and 9 say that they are not matching each other. So, in this way, user will be able to reconcile its entire sale invoice to the counterparty information. Then click on the back button to go to the previous page. Similarly, by clicking on the View Reconciled Data under Outward Debit Credit Notes Sale Reconciliation, we can see the Outward Debit or Credit Sale Reconciliation as well and the errors which are there. Similarly, user can view Reconcile Data for Inward Invoice Purchase Reconciliation and Inward Debit or Credit Notes Purchase Reconciliation. Then, we move to the next tab, which is the ITC Ledger. The ITC Ledger will show the opening balance of the user. Then we move to the next feature, that is Syncing. Here, if we click on the Sync Now tab, then all the sales invoices on the purchase invoice, which has been generated into the system, will be automatically synced. Here also, the system will ask for an OTP which will be sent to the registered mobile number. After syncing successfully, the system will show invoice synchronization successfully completed. Then we go to the next tab, that is My Profile. Here we can see and edit the details, change the password, edit the address. We can download audit trail. Once clicking on the download button, fill the date and the user can check what is the audit trail of the system, who has used it and when it was used. We can also check invoice sync status under sync notifications. Then in the notification tab, user can check when the software was updated. Then in the logout tab, user can log out from the account by clicking on the tab.